Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing a basic guide on how the iPhone 12 Pro camera works. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, so let's get into this video. Okay, so here's the iPhone 12 Pro's camera. As you can see, it's a beautiful design. I like the golden lining of it. So this is the golden iPhone. Okay, so let's go to the camera app and I'll show you some of the basics over here. So if you click on the arrow on top, it will show you all the options you have that are available to you in the photo section. So to quickly access the arrow button is you just swipe on the bottom part. Okay, let's look at the first one. So the first one is the flash. So there you can turn it on to auto, on or off. And there you can also see on the top if it is on or off or on auto. So there if it is yellow, it's on. So I personally like it on off. Okay, so the next one is live photo. Okay, so let's say on. So if it detects movement, it will take a second before and a second after, so it will create a little video. So let's create a little live video. Okay, so let's view it. So you just tap and hold on your screen to view the live photo. Perfect. You can also edit your live photo, so go to edit. Press on the live option. So there you can see where the dot is, your key photo. So if you're not happy with the key photo, you can drag this to where you want it to be and make key photo. So then you can say done. And that is your key photo that you will see. So if your live option is on and you didn't want it on, you wanted it off, and then you can turn your live off. So then that will just be a normal photo. Okay, so let's turn it on again. You can also adjust it to make it a bit shorter if you just want a certain part of it in. And as for the other photos, you can also edit it there, give it a filter or crop or rotate it. So that was live photo. So here's if you want to change the size of your photo, so you can make it square four by three or 16 by nine. So let's just put it on the original. Okay, so here's if you want to change the exposure. So make it more bright or bring it down. So no matter what you're doing on the screen, it is going to stay like that until you bring it down to zero. So make sure to go change it when you are done. And this is very helpful if it's too dark and you just want to change the exposure and you don't have to go edit it afterwards. So there you can see I'm tapping on the screen and it is still at 2.0. Okay, so the next one is the timer. So you can time it at 3 seconds or 10 seconds, how long you want it to last for. So if let's say 3 seconds, 2, 1, and it took your picture. And it is perfect for group photos, so let's go look at the photo. There is the picture, so then you can select. So if someone blinked, you can select the perfect picture. So then you say select that one and maybe that one. Then you say done. And then it says keep everything or keep only two favorites. So let's say keep only two favorites. So then there is your two pictures. I personally love this feature. Okay, so let's turn off the timer. And the next one is filters. So there is so many nice filters on here. So then you can just go ahead and take pictures. And these arrows just switches from your rear camera to your front facing camera or vice versa. So you have a square on your screen to focus on specific areas on your screen. So if you want to focus on the tablet, you press there. If you want to focus on the plaids, I press there. But if there are movements at the background, it will lose its focus. So to make sure you don't lose your focus is you press and hold on the screen and then you will see AE or AF lock. 
so now you know for sure you won't lose your focus and to unlock it you just tap anywhere on your screen so the iphone 12 pro has optical zoom so this means this will give you the best quality if you zoom in or out so there is wide angle one times or two and a half times zoom so you can also press and swipe on this part and as you can see if you exceed the two and a half times zoom it will lose its quality so if you have one of these selected you can see them at the top so if your live is on if you have a timer so there you can see timer, effect and live photo or even if your flash is on you can see that as well. Where now you can see none of them are selected. So let's look at the most popular one so that is the portrait mode. People love taking pictures with the portrait mode it makes your pictures look so professional and there is so many options in here like natural light, studio light, contour light, stage light, stage light mono, there you can see that's how that one looks like and the last one high key light mono so that is how that one looks like these are really fun options to just play with and the photos look beautiful so let's take a picture with the normal one and there you can see the background is blurred so here you can see the main feature of portrait mode is the background is blurred out and all the focus is on the main subject so let's quickly look at one of these let's just look at studio light so if you tap on the F up there the aperture so then you can say how blurred out you want the background to be and this works with all the features as I showed before if you say you want studio light and you take picture so let's go to the preview picture and you say edit so there you can see in what mode you took your picture and there it also says portrait so if you tap on there it will lose its portrait mode and you can also select it again to turn it on so here you can also edit the modes and you can change it from here also and from here you can also change the aperture again if you're not happy to how it turned out okay so let's look at the video options so video also has optical zoom it has the wide angle and the two and a half and it can zoom till seven times but there you can see the quality is really bad and here it works the same with the square you can tap to where you want it to focus or you can lock the focus there you can see it's locked and just tap anywhere to unlock it so here on the top you can see your HD and frame rate settings so you can also change that from here so there you have HD and 4k then you can change it 4k 24 frames per second 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second and with HD that is 180p so there you can say 30 or 60 frames per second so if we take a video there's also a shutter button take a quick picture so let's stop the video and let's go look so here is your picture that you took and here is your video and with video you also have your flash up here that you can turn it on or off I personally like it off because I don't like taking a video and then the flash is in everyone's faces and it takes so much more battery so let's go view our video again then you can say edit so here you can edit your video that you took so you can clip the beginning or the end of your video to make it shorter or parts that you don't want to be there you can mute it up there so there's also the same options that you can edit your video, you can put filters on it or you can crop your video. Say done. Then you can save as a new clip or save your video. So here is the slow-mo option so you can take slow videos with this one. So let me show you. Cool, right?
and you have time lapse. It just speeds up your videos. Just have to take a while because it's very fast. And this is great for when you want to capture how the sun rises. So then it's only that in a few minutes because it speeds it up and it is beautiful. And then there's also this pano option where you can get a whole view of something like the horizon or the mountains and you can't get the full picture. So you just press and move it. And there you can see the picture. Okay, so let's look at camera settings. Let's go to settings, scroll down till you find camera. And if you look here, here is a lot of settings you can do also. So if you go to formats, here you can choose what format you want. So here you can see here is high efficiency and most compatible. And there's also Apple Pro Raw, but that is a very big file. So I recommend high efficiency because it's a newer, more modern file format and it's also a film file format. If you take pictures using high efficiency, it will take about two times less storage space on your iPhone. It also has more richer colors than most compatible. The only reason I would suggest using most compatible is if you're running into compatibility issues when you are sharing your files with a non-Apple device. So let's look at the other options record video here you can also change your quality as i showed you you can also do it on the camera app i would always suggest leaving your hdr video on for better quality videos okay so next one is use volume up for burst there you can toggle it on so now if you want to take a burst picture you just press on the volume up button and there it takes your burst photos Burst mode photo is essentially a photo that is taken very quickly and the iPhone is capable of taking 10 photos per second using the burst mode. So if we go to the photo that we took with burst mode, you can say select and there on the bottom you can see all the pictures that you took. As for the timer that used burst mode, you can do the same here and select a few picture that you want when you say done you can say keep everything or keep only three favorites so let's say keep only three favorites and there is the pictures that you saved so scan qr codes that is very helpful when you just want to scan a qr code and it is very handy here you can see i'm scanning the nintendo and it's as fast as that and it takes you directly to the page Okay, so let's look at the next one and that is grid. It's difficult to see with the white background. But let's put this here. There you can see the grid lines and it is perfect when you want the horizon to be exactly straight and for if you want an object to be exactly in the middle. And here is mirror front camera. So here we're at the selfie camera and as you can see, the flap is on the left. So if I take a picture, Let's go view the picture. There you can see the flap is on the right. This may annoy some people, so you can mirror your photos. So let's go to settings. So here you say mirror front camera. And if you go back to your selfie camera and you take a picture now, there you can see it's on the left and it's mirrored. So here is the difference between the two. There you can see it's on the right and there it's on the left as it should be. Here you can say view outside the frame, you could toggle that on or off. If you don't know what that is, if you go to the camera app, there you can still see the view on there and there. So there you can see my hand in the dark space and on top. So if I go back to settings and I toggle it off, there you can see it's black. I know people that take professional photos with their iPhones don't like to have it on because it confuses them as to what is in the frame and they want to be sure of what is in the picture. Thank you so much for watching this video on how the iPhone camera works. I hope you really enjoyed this video and that you learned something from it. Please subscribe to our channel, that will really help us a lot. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below and I really hope you guys have a lucky day. Bye!